navigating your shift to go high level. It's time to move. This is an essential little checklist for you. My name is Pamela Dale. I'm your GHL gal, and it's time to take a look at high level. Yes, you've heard of it, but this idea of moving, oh, right? It's like moving a house. It's really overwhelming. It can feel like just too much. And sometimes it's easier just to stay where you are. But we all know long-term that doesn't work. And it's better to move now than later, especially since high level is such a great place for you to move to. You've got the perfect house to move to. So there are six phases of a move that I think you need to take a look at. I'm going to run through them pretty quick here. And there's a blog post that goes along with this. And there's going to be a course called Migration Mastery, migrationmastery.com. There'll be a link down below for it as well, where you can get a hold of that. If you're my affiliate, you get it at no charge. So first, you've got to prepare to move, right? You've got to think about this house that you're currently in and where you're moving to. And probably just like me and just like everyone else, your house has a bunch of stuff in it that you no longer use. That's not going to work in the new place because the new place has got a little different layout. You're probably outgrown. It's old and you've got too much stuff, right? So the first thing I want you to do is take an inventory of your current tools. And that means all those beautiful AppSumo deals that you got for lifetime that you've not used, right? I've got one for webinar jam or something like that, right? Never used it. Huh? It still sits there in this corner that I have in my little digital room. It's important to also identify the essential data that you need. Now, when moving, not everything needs to come with you. And it's the same in your digital house. And we want to ensure that this is a safe move. So we want to first start to gather all of the assets for the funnels, for the courses, your email list, et cetera, all of the emails that you need, all of the emails that are scattered probably throughout all the systems and compile all of those. Transferring your data over is next. Moving a list can feel like a lot. There is a process to it for sure that we won't get into on this video, but you wanna make sure first that your tagging is excellent where you are currently. All of the systems that have your contacts, have they been tagged appropriately? Do you have old tags, outdated tags, tags that don't have the right naming convention on them? So you're like, oh, I can't remember what that is. You're gonna to need to do a little bit of digging. This is going to really set you up for success when you move to the new system. The next thing you're going to want to do, phase three, is to rebuild inside of the new system first. So inside of high level, you're going to rebuild your funnels, your websites, your workflows, etc. You're not going to move anything yet. You're not going to stop anything over here yet. You need to move things over. You need to build things again. You can't move them over. Now, ClickFunnels does give you the link that we can use inside of Go High Level that will import a funnel for you. I actually suggest you don't because it's going to bring in what we call the junk code. If you've ever had a funnel brought in from ClickFunnels into High Level and couldn't figure out what was wrong with the form, what was wrong with a really rogue background image, and no matter what we did, we couldn't remove it, you don't want that to slow you down. Now, not all funnels are going to need to come. We're going to talk about the mindset of hoarding here a little bit, right? It is very similar to hoarding in a house as hoarding in your funnels. If you've got 250 funnels and one of them is making you money, you've got to let them go. This is a poverty mindset. It is a you don't think there's enough in the world, so you've got to hold on to what you have kind of idea. Now, this isn't the post or the video for that, but business isn't just business tactics, right? This is something to really think through. And it's going to give you an absolute opportunity to organize things better. When you bring in these funnels and websites, make some changes to them, clean them up. You know, that thing that you've always wanted to do. So it's very important that you set aside the right amount of time to do this and take many things into consideration, like the holidays, like the celebrations that are going on in your life and your family. What's happening in your business? New hires, do you need some help, et cetera? Put those things in place so that when you do move, you don't have to just chuck everything in boxes and go really quickly, right? You, this is a really great opportunity to come into the new system in a beautiful way. Phase number four is transferring over your course materials and your students. So first, you're going to bring over the course materials. Now, if you've got a system that will let you download the videos, et cetera, out or hopefully you've got the original videos or maybe you've 
got them on YouTube. You can embed those, no problem, inside of high level, but you want to gather all that course data. The students, once the course data is ready to go, you're going to bring the students over using some workflows and making sure that they're tagged properly and they will automatically get access. It's also a really great tip to send, uh, we are moving email. We're on our way. We are moving the platform. You will log in at a different URL. So we're going to make sure that you have enough notice for that and send a couple of extra emails as well to remind people not everyone opens their emails. Phase five is really about running both systems together. You're going to need to do so so that you can then make sure that everything over here is running. Don't stop the traffic or change the domains over here just yet. Do a lot of testing here first and making sure that you have made a list of where are my URLs? Do you have a link tree? Do you have something in your Facebook? Do you have it in emails that are going out, et cetera? Make sure that you found all your links and replace them. And then of course, make sure that you test, test, test. And then slowly for phase six, you're gonna phase out the old system. You're going to move all the traffic over. You're gonna move the domains and there are going to still be people over here in email sequences probably, right, for two months depending on how long your sequences are. So if you have a lead magnet or a sales funnel running and people have signed up and they're going through your process over on the other software, whether that was a pipeline or it's an email series, you want to be sure that you let them fall out the bottom of that and then move them over appropriately. Now, this takes a lot more than what I just went through inside of this little, it gives you an idea of what it is you're sitting in front of. It's not a boom, start one system and then the next, close it down, right? It's not because you have a real moving business. Now, if you're really new, this is a godsend. You can get in at $97. You're going to pay more for your software stack over here than $97. Let's get started. Let's get your permanent home now. Let's not get that starter up. Let's not get that, oh my God, it's in a bad neighborhood, but we'll take it for now because of the price. No, no, no. You want to treat your business like it's a six-figure business, seven-figure business right out of the gate. High Level is the place to do that. My name is Pamela Dale, your GHL gal. And if you want to join me on this journey, I help you get this thing running. And I also help you migrate. What a gift. Yes. I look forward to seeing you on this road. Comments, questions down below? Absolutely. I'll answer them. <music>